all right you guys today we are trying out the new sterox gauge new sterox build on fiora I, I haven't built this item in a very 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 long time even though it was her actually her main one of her core items it was her main build for a long time back in season 11 i think um you would go Gordrinker, remnants hydra into sterox gauge every game and then this changed to um, Gore, Ravenous into Death Stance. But now we can... We can go this build again. We will. I will try it out because I think this, this has potential. Maybe it's not good in every game, but it's definitely good in some games. In my opinion, it's good in games where you want to stick with your team, where you want to team fight, you want to have Conqueror when you go this build. Also, last stand, very very good. And yeah, that's actually it. But the Conqueror is very important because it's you get the healing. It's a good synergy with the shield. Also, the last stand is a good synergy with uh, the shield because you do deal more damage on low health, and with the shield you actually want to be low health. So, and the shield got a big buff. Also, the damage got um, enhanced by five percent. I actually don't really care where this guy is. I will just farm it out. Singed our. Singe players are crazy people. Okay, he took a recall. <laughs> yeah, singe players are, are crazy people. They do things that's incredible. It's just... You cannot read what he's doing because I think he doesn't even know himself what he's doing. <laughs> that's what I feel like. Sometimes they go invade jungle. Sometimes they go smite just to steal the, the, the blue buff or the red buff. They do crazy things, guys. He's going... Daxil first item, I mean, good luck with that guy. Good luck with that. I will just focus on farming. Yeah, I know Poppy's here, I don't care. Look at the wave, what what, what does she want to do? I will actually go to the crab. Uh, I don't know, those pings were just terribly wrong, I think, yeah. I guess no counterplay from Echo. Yeah, she took all camps, so he can't really invade. Yeah, it's okay. He can't really do anything, so... Yeah. Kali, this was pretty obvious. So you kind of want to play, play around the vials, want to bait out his, his uh, Q so that he uses his poison and then you don't want to step into the poison and then every time he walks up he will mostly fling you so you just parry when you see that he doesn't fling you then you wait but most of the time it's pretty pretty easy to read now he might fling me yeah but I don't care okay then I go out again I have second wind and Doran's shield so I will heal back up a lot of his poke, which is very very good in this lane. You see, I I'm not really I mean he's not really able to kill me here, right? He's, of course he's dealing some damage, but if I actually if I parry his um, fling, he's just dead, or he's at least uh, he g gets pushed out of lane, so he has to recall or something. An ally has been slain. Right. See and I heal back up with my with my vitals. It's it's really very really good. So build Sterox only as third 
item or later because it scales with base AD and your base AD scales with your level. So the higher your level, the more damage, bonus damage, bonus AD will this item give you. And when you buy this first or second item, it will give you like, I don't know, 20 AD, something like this. But when you build it at level 18, it will give you about 50 AD, let's say. I don't know how it is after the changes, but before the changes, it was like this. Um, it's also depending on the champion, because every champion has a uh, different base AD, but on Fiora it was about 50 AD, I guess, and that's the same damage as the the Sterox Gauge gave you before the nerfs, but before the nerfs it didn't scale, so you could buy it at um, level 1 or at first item and it still gave you uh, 50 AD. What are you doing, man? I guess that's worth it. I will go Goa Drinker. Because I feel like, I mean, you could go, for example, Stride Breaker, Blade of the Rune King. Because this gives you um, the slow, it grants all legendary items 2% move speed. Um, you get the passive from Borg where you steal 25% move speed for 2 seconds, so you can try to outrun him with those items, but in my opinion it's not it's not good, because he has his R, he has Ghost, and I think he still outruns you, so just going Gore Drinker, Ravenous Hydra, um, just waiting for him to come to us and then actually killing him, and if he doesn't come, we just farm, we just farm, we push, um, we might dive him, we might roam, if they are trying to... Um, so if Poppy is trying to gank me, I will just 1v2 them, because with Strife Breaker and Borg, I, I guess I cannot 1v2 them, but with uh, Gore and Revenant Hydra, I, I can do it. Okay. Okay, so now I have to learn that he is actually not using his uh, fling before I didn't use my my parry. I cannot rotate, I have to take the farm, but I'm feeling like I'm going to kill this guy in a minute. Let's see. I will, I will, I will, I think I will just coin flip this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he has flee. Ah! My bad, my bad. I didn't expect him to go like this. But it's a problem. Yeah, this was a little bit of a coin flip. It, it would actually be winnable. His fling was pretty, pretty obvious. Um... Yeah, I'm just, it's it's on my smurf account, this first game of the day, so I'm not really warmed up, I'm not really taking this too serious, it's just for fun. Um, but yeah, um, at the same time, those are the things I want to improve at, because even though I'm just chilling here in this game, I still want to get something out of it, I still want to learn something. But it's also very good when you just... Um, don't go so go easy on yourself. So don't like um, um, go crazy for every mistake. Just uh, take it easy, but still learn from it because you can take it easy and still learn from it. And that's uh, actually the best thing you can do because that's just how. So human beings 
<laughs> don't like to be like under pressure. Also, the brain doesn't work under pressure. You might notice when you like writing an exam or something, and you have, are extremely nervous, and all your knowledge is gone. You're really good. Pre you're, you're prepared very well, and then all the knowledge is gone, just because of the pressure. So. I'm taking so much poke, it's so bad. <laughs> Poo, pretty intense. <laughs> pretty intense. Wait for my W. Okay, I'll just take the free farm. I'm happy with the free farm to be honest. So yeah, uh, mercs are very good in this matchup. Also, every magic resistance item like Morph and Mortius, Spirit Research are good items. I might take a recall because I have Quadrinka. So Quadrinka into Mercs is very good. Also, if you can grab an early refillable, refillable is good in every poke matchup. Um, but I didn't really have the gold for it, so I just didn't buy it. Because the later it gets, the less value it has. So now you see Doran's shield and also second wind will heal me up, so now I can chill. Always make use of it, because if I go in before it, the heal is done, the heal is finished, then I'm actually not using it to its full potential, and then I actually am losing some of my sustain. Yeah, I will push here because I want to have Pryo for Echo. Also, Nasus is here. Nasus support, by the way. Uh, what is this? The winter... winter music from winter theme. Let's grab the plating. Can I get another one? Uh, I can't. Yeah, let's go. Not pushing. Oh man, why you ping and then you go back? I hate junglers. I hate junglers. Just play topside and we win this game. Don't you know the strengths of Fiora? I mean, what the fuck, man? Also, 4 1 NASA support. Not a single gank topside. I don't know. What is this? Why do I die so fast? I mean, he has Ignite.
I don't know why he out damages me this bad. He has one item, I have one item. Yeah. I'm not joining this fight, by the way. I don't know. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. What the fuck is Akali doing? Can we shut down this guy? He has two big reasons why we should kill him. Bounty Gold and Dark Seal. I mean it was kind of my bad to feed him. But there were so many opportunities where Egg could gank me and he just ignores top lane big time. Now Singed comes with 7,000 movement speed. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, Echo, wow. Yeah, let's go, come! Then come and don't do fucking chickens! Fucking idiot! Yeah, and I guess I'm dead. Fuck this shit. In reality I would either go Hex Drinker because when I go Gore Drinker I cannot go more because of the lifeline. You can only buy one item with the lifeline shield. But for the sake of the video and for the sake of like trying it out, I will go for Sterox into Spirit Visage. I think that's pretty strong actually. I think that this is actually a very very big idea because the Spirit Vision passive gives you increasing all healing and shielding by 25%. Which means that the shield of the Sterox Gauge is increased by 25%. It also means that the Gore Drinker healing, the healing of the Omni Vamp, is increased by 25%. Also the healing of my vitals of my R is all increased by 25%. That's big! That's big! Let's see how it goes.
he's level f oh he's 13 okay i thought he's level 15 I don't know, somehow I just can't carry one of his flings. I guess he's just smarter than me. Be a good game if I didn't miss the cannon, right? Nice. So now we are getting real. 2000 more gold, and then I will have this very sexy item. Oh, I just finished my coffee. So let's see, it gives 400 health, 50% base AD, before the nerfs it were... <coughs> ah, fuck! It was 45%. I should actually change to blue trinkets all the time already, but... Can't sleep in here. actually so big this is so big now they're coming for me now they're coming for me 100 percent no such on my fine style Uh, I'm dead. No, <laughs> mommy, 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 mommy. I live. I live. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Xayah dive was actually insane. Come on, give me... 35 gold. I will wait. And then we will see also the... 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 Well, up. Um... The shield. Um, went from 75% to 80%, which is insane. And also the decay time went from, I think, 3.5 or something to 4.5, which means that it will, will last longer. Xayano Flash, Xayano Flash. Nah! 
No, I didn't see the, the shield. No. <laughs> or did it proc in the last fight? Did it proc? I don't know. I have to rewatch. But... Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, no. I'm actually kind of MVP. I have the most gold. I almost have most damage. Yeah, splitting is split to win. Not spin to win, but split to win. Um, alright, alright. Yeah, um, I don't know, guys. Uh, this was first attempt. <laughs> uh, it didn't really work. I mean, the thing is, the game has to go very, very long for us to see the effectiveness of this item. That's also the reason why it's actually not built that much because it's a very late game item, but most of the times, especially the higher the elo, the shorter the games, so I guess it's a good low elo build to be honest. Um, because also with this with this build, if you go exactly this build, Gore, Revenous, Sterax, you don't have to think a lot, you just can go in, you just can go in, you don't have to think about oh, flanking and parrying the right CC. So for climbing, for low elo, for learning the champion, this build is actually very very good guys. Um, if this was helpful, entertaining, um, something like this, leave a like, also comment down below, let me know what you think about this build, have you tried out this build? Um, would you like to try it or maybe you're trying it out and afterwards you can tell me your experiences. I also like to hear, so maybe, I mean, I just hit diamond, so I'm kind of a diamond player. Maybe you are higher than diamond, and maybe I can learn something from you, so I'm happy about that as well. Uh, it's all about here, my channel is all about building a nice community, helping each other, because we're all, like, in the same, like, we, we, we cannot really judge each other, even though we might be different elos, but we're all playing the same fucking stupid game. <laughs> so, we should hold together, help each other, and yeah, climb together, because we all can do it, guys, we all can do it. Alright, guys, um, that's it for today, see you in the next video, bye-bye.